What's going on guys? This is Nolan from Tier Zero Gaming and today guys I'm back with I'm back at you guys with a Soul Fusion Special Edition opening. Uh, also got a Locals report today. Uh, I actually won Locals today. Uh, so I got three packs of Soul Fusion right here. Uh, one entry and then two prize packs. Uh, anyways, I ended up winning with Lost World Dinos of course. As you know I've deck profiled the last couple of times. Uh, anyways, guys, we're going to get right into the video before I start rambling on. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And ladies and gentlemen, cue the intro. Alright, guys, I'm back. I uh, went ahead and opened up the boxes. Uh, I bought three special editions. Uh, we'll get into the cards here in a minute. Uh, anyways, I want to go into the locals report first, get that knocked out. Uh, so, round one, I played against six Samurais. Uh, I he made me go first game one. I was able to control the board with Logia and uh, Conductor and just one, flat out one outright. Was able to OTK on my next turn. Uh, game two, I got full combo to OTK one two zero. Then round two was against Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons. Uh, it was kind of a rough matchup. Like I played against this dude uh, before the tournament started. It was kind of a grindy match before we started. Uh, game one, I flat, I flat out won. Uh, I actually went first and was able to control the board. And he can just just couldn't do anything game one. And then game two, he conceded. Uh, he used cybernetic fusion support to pay half his life and try to fuse. I did not realize that's what cybernetic fusion support did. I had no idea that uh, you had to fusion summon first before you could use that card. I had no idea. It ended up being an illegal move, and then uh, he went ahead and just he went ahead and scooped it up. We tried to fix game state, but he was like, "Nah, forget about it." So he's he just went ahead and scooped it up. I won two zero. Uh, round three. Surprisingly, I actually lost against uh, Magical Muskets. Uh, it was a very grindy match. Game two, game one and two, they were grindy as all hell. Game one, he got me. He was able to out-resource me. The first time that this new build actually bricked on me, I couldn't do anything. Uh, game two, I bricked again. I went first to try to control the board. Uh, that ended up not happening. Uh, I was able to ride Geki on my next turn. And then, um, or actually, no way, sorry. I I forget what I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I had... A board of Obi Raptor, and uh, I went ahead and Kaiju slumbered. I had Kamungus and Gamasil on my board with Dogron in my hand. I used Rex and uh, no, yeah, yeah, it was Rex. I'm sorry. So I used Rex and Kamungus to make um, Underclock Taker, and then I brought out uh, Dogron from my hand since he had Gamasil. Uh, I was able to Underclock Taker the Gamasil, swing for 4K. And then uh, my next turn, he was able, his next turn he was able to break it, but he couldn't do a whole lot of damage. So I drew. What did I draw into? I forget now. But anyway, no, it was it was an Ovi and a Lost. I had a Lost Roll and I drew into Ovi, and then I was able to do my thing. I was able to get Conductor out on the board and then just outright win. Um. Uh, and then game three, game three took the longest time. Like, he, I made Dolka when I should have made Logia and I would have won. Also, there was a time I could have got a second conductor on board to just flat out win. But uh, we were going into time. I was up 1,200 to his 400. We were going into time. It was getting stressful. Instead of making Logia, I made Dolka. Dolka didn't do a whole lot for me and I just ended up losing. But I uh, could because it's not it wasn't an OTS tournament, so that's why I got Soul Fusion packs instead of OTS packs. Um, so yeah, the the pairing system they used was a little weird, and being only there was four of us, uh, yeah. So because I two owed everybody and then lost uh, one two in the last round, I ended up winning. So, and also he had a loss going into the last match, so. That's how I ended up winning. It was an overall good tournament. I had fun. Uh, there's some changes I do need to make to the Lost World deck, pro 
there's a lot of changes I do need to make to make my build more consistent. But overall, I'm fairly happy. Obviously, I got obviously I got packs out of it. So, anyways, let's get into the opening. Uh, so let's check out these promos. So I feel like my hands on fire because Neo Space Connector needs to burn and burn in Yu-Gi-Oh hell, I should say, because he's the reason we're going to be able to Gumblar for six. And is sold. It's I like it as a super. I already had my ultra, but still, I like it as a super. And then I got two Sork and two Roxy. Uh, I already had my ultra summon sorceress, so I can trade these for something. I'm glad I got the prank kids. Uh, I was really wanting to try and build the core up for this deck and see what I could do. I, I like the idea behind the deck, being able to recur and then just mess with your opponent. All right, guys, so we got 12 packs of Soul Fusion. So I'm going to set these off to the side, and we're going to get right into it. Essentially, this is half a box. All right, so we got Duty Flame King High Genghis, Solomon Great Foxy, Pancratops. That's always a good pull. Giant Ballpark, and Thunder Dragon Duo. So that's nice. My full, my first uh, Thunder Dragon uh, Hollow. Essentially a new Chaos Monster. So that's cool. And then Thunder Dragon Matrix. Interesting. Pencil Plume, Crusadia, and Diflexer Chimera. And sorry about that. A um, special edition box spell over. And that creaking you guys hear in the background is just the chair I'm setting up. Alright. Next, Solomon Great Emerald Eagle. Solomon Great Gift. Dino Wrestler Capitara. And Long Gearsu, the Orchestrator. The Orcus Orchestrator. That's pretty cool. It's just named Gearsu, only like Dark and Machine Type now. That's pretty cool. And then Gravekeeper's Headman. That's cool. Uh, Doom King Purple Armageddon. Internal Galaxy. Crusadia. And a Dino Wrestler. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Next pack. Yeah, I think we got something. Anyways. Uh, King T. Rexel. Invincibility Barrier. The Galaxy Brave. This is actually a pretty good card for Galaxies. Trap Trick. Dude. That is awesome. I needed this card. Woo! That is freaking awesome. That's only three packs in. Hell, those are my prize packs I just opened up. That is awesome. I'm going to sleeve that up real fast. Then Patchwork, Sanctuary, Falco, Einstaz, and Purple Armageddon. Dude, I can't believe I pulled Trap Trick. That's freaking awesome. Sleeve that up real fast. Awesome card. Next pack. So we got Crawler, Orchestrated Attack. Come on, camera, focus. There it is. Until Noble Arms are needed once again. Pretty good card. World Dino Wrestling and Fulgo, Justice for Hire. Orcus Brass Bombard. Core. Not even going to try. Diana Light Spirit. Dude, Trap Trick. That's awesome. I've been wanting to get my hands on this card. Next pack. World Legacy World Wand. Solomon Great Foxy. Agave Dragon. Second Expedition into Danger. That's cool. Clock Wyvern. 
What does Necro Fusion even do? Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Action from the graveyard face in the counterattacks. Okay. Not bad. So Stegosaur. Concentrating current and gravekeeper spiritualist. Alright, next pack. Getting it everywhere. Alright. World Wand. Incantation Bookstone. Edge M. Cotton Eater. Capoterra. Thunder, Dra Thunder Dragon Dark. Dude. Awesome. So cool. Hold up. I gotta sleeve that up too. Uh, Clock Spar Toy. Revenge of the Normal. That's a pretty cool work. Not the patchwork that I wanted. And Solomon Great Mirror. Alright guys, this has been... This has been awesome so far. We got a Trap Trick and a Thunder Dragon Dark. That's pretty cool. Just leave that up as well. So two really good pulls. Pulled a Trap Trick and Dragon Dark. Next pack. Invincibility Barrier. Galaxy Brave, Crusadia Crawler, Fulgo Justice for Hire, Oop. Thunder Dragon Matrix, Einstaz, Purple Armageddon, Eternal Galaxy, and Crusadia. Next pack. Man, what else can we pull? We already pulled really well. Hell, these two, hell, these two just, they make my purchase worth it. Alright, Predoplast. World Dino Wrestling. Until Noble Arms are needed once again. And Galatea, the Orcus Autom Automaton. Excuse me. Harpoor. Falco. Eternal Galaxy. 241 Team. Ha ha. And Spiritualist. Next pack, we got four left. Well, the fourth one's in my hand. There's three packs left. You know what I mean. Apparently, I'm not good with words. DD Flame King High Genghis. Foxy. Agave Dragon. Jack Jaguar. And Mystic Holder. Okay. Consolation Prize. Whoa. I don't need a Consolation Prize. Pencil Plume, Sanctuary, and Falco. Hold up, I got cards overflowing here. Alright. Orchestrated Attack. Invincibility Barrier. Solomon Great Emerald Eagle. Solomon Great Gift. Orchestron. Okay, this is like maybe a $3 card. It's still a nice ultra to pull. I'm not going to sleeve this one up. Necro Valley Temple. Ossianato. Not the patchwork that I want. And Diplex or Chimera. Alright, guys. Second to last pack. So, what else can we pull? I've already pulled two Ultras, and well, one really good Ultra and a really good Secret. Is there anything else that I can pull? Let's see. I'm kind of holding out for the, uh, oh, what's the one? Uh, the Thunder Dragon that is like a permanent draw of Lockbird. I can't think of it right now. Colossus. Orchestrated Attack. Until Noble Arms are needed once again. World Dino Wrestling. Danger Dogman. Brass Bombard. Not even going to try. Will of the Solomon Great. Galaxy Cleric and Asianato. 
All right, guys, last pack. What? Let's see if we let's see if we can get the Colossus. If not, Titan would be a good pull. Jack Jaguar. Parallel Panzer. Galaxy Braid. Nope. Second Expedition into Danger. And another Orcus Brass from Board. Hey, this is the this is the new Super Poly target, isn't it? Once per turn you can target one face of a monster your opponent controls. Place a predator counter on it. If it is a level two or higher, it becomes level one as long as a predator counter. As long as it has a predator counter, negate the activated effects of your opponent's monster that have predator counters. Okay, that ain't bad. Uh, Sanctuary, Purple Armageddon, and Revenge of the Normal. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you like my polls. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm absolutely thrilled. I can't believe we got Trap Trick and Dragon Art. Alright guys, leave a comment down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And to all my fellow players out there, stay classy. Take it easy, guys.